Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Have you ever been traveling along the country road and you see a, a vegetable stand and you stop and you have all these beautiful fresh vegetables they're just pristine they're fa- they're farm raised they're hand grown they're organic well that's kind of like daily dose radio just along the side of the road maybe out of the way but boy is the bible study fresh and it's just beautiful it's pristine so we come today to psalm 90 and Let's see, yesterday we stopped at verse 10, and we've seen now throughout the week this development that Moses has created for us between God's eternal nature, man's temporary nature, and then yesterday he put down another layer on top of that. Our temporary nature is temporary, yet we have a sin problem. So today we're going to come to, we're going to actually begin the remedy for that in verse 11. So I'm going to read today verses 11, 12, and 13. Who knoweth the power of thine anger? Even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long? And let it repent thee concerning thy servants. That's verses 11 through 13. Now notice the power of thine anger. God is not pleased with the sin problem that we face. We have a temporary life. It's short. It's like the grass. It sprouts up, and then it withers away in the same day. So a sin problem with a lifespan that's that brief demands some attention. And so he begins by saying, The power of thine anger, it's according to your fear and your wrath the same way. It's just that quick. Teach us to number our days. Notice verse 12. There you go. There's the beginning of the remedy that we pay attention, that we number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom, and wisdom teaches us what? The fear of the Lord. That's where wisdom begins. So to fear the Lord, ladies and gentlemen, is the beginning of the remedy. We're to number our days so that we understand the brief nature of our existence in this life. We apply our hearts during those few days to wisdom, which is the fear of the Lord, And then notice that the entire portion of remedy is going to be not because we have applied our hearts unto anything, but it's because of God's mercy. And we begin describing that mercy here in 13. Return, O Lord, how long? Let it repent thee according to thy servants. Now notice we have return and repent in the same same verse here. Return, O Lord, how long? And, of course, we've seen the how long statement before. But this time it relates to God's mercy towards us. Let it repent thee. Now, God doesn't need to repent of anything, but the psalmist Moses here is saying, you understand our condition, so, you know, hold back your wrath. That's the idea of repenting. Hold back the wrath because of our condition. We're applying our hearts unto wisdom. That's not enough. We need something more. We need you to withhold your anger. And then tomorrow, on Friday, we're going to look at the word of deliverance here, mercy. So we'll pick that up tomorrow when we get there. But you'll see here that we've we've got this idea that that God is actively working towards our judgment because you know, it begins, the whole passage begins there with that statement, who knows the power of thine anger? His anger is against the sin. And so our job now, understanding our temporal nature, our sin condition, and asking God, give us your mercy. So repent according to your anger. That is, turn it away. But something has to replace it. What's that going to be? Well, tomorrow we'll find out that the thing that's going to replace God's anger is his mercy. I know that's kind of a spoiler for the end of the week, but that's where we're headed, and that's the beautiful thing. So God is eternal, man is temporary with a sin condition. God is angry at that because in his righteousness he must judge it, and now tomorrow we're going to see his mercy come on the scene. I hope you'll join me then for Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. 
The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.